Mm. Hello. Uh, I'm Catherine Ortiz, and I'm the mentee, and I've been in Girls Right Now for two years. And My name is Yvette Joy Harris, and I'm the mentor, and this is my first year. And our pieces are basically, our, the name of it is Dear Voice and Dear You, and it involves appreciating the intimacy in one's voice. And she speaks on a very positive level, very enlightening, but I'm kind of negative, so she will <laughs> highlight all of it. Dear Voice, the moment was right and your conception imminent. Like a seedling beginning to sprout or a baby in the womb, you stretch and grow. Your movements are subtle, almost going unnoticed, but time and physicality reveal you signaling a birth. Finally, you emerge and there is no denying your presence. Its sound, your sound voice is unique. The sounds you make alert others to your need to be held, fed, and nurtured. Words and phrases soon emerge as you mimic the intonations, expressions, and timbre of those around you. Your voice has meaning in the world. Your voice has meaning in the world. Your voice has meaning in the world. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. Yet your sound voice sometimes is hard to hear above the voices of parents, teachers, and friends. As you flex your vocal cords to practice your own sound, the whispers of mom, dad, aunt, uncle, grandma, and grandfather flood your inner ear. Sometimes those whispers are pleasant and empower you to speak proudly and eloquently. At other times, those whispers cause tears to flow and your voice to shake uncontrollably. Forgive them, for they often forget, especially when voices clash like unharmonious music. They want your voice to sound like theirs. Utter the same words and even produce similar thoughts. But this voice belongs to you. Dear mom and dad, I am your daughter. The daughters whose name didn't stem from a relative the way my siblings did. And I suppose through this meaningless yet so purposeful detail, the crave and originality seeps from within me. Medicine isn't something that interests me. Remembering the chemical components within the shell that is your body. Also, I really hate chemistry. I know the rejection in this dream of mine, but I like writing. I like the idea of creating something unreal and molding reality into the unheard and unseen. I like the ink staining my skin and the undefined template of wonder and possibilities. The extremes of black and white aren't real, just expectations. Shades that aren't colors and don't hold an interpretation or a truth because nothing is absolute. Um, dear teacher, you're not my teacher because you don't make me feel intelligent. Intelligence I'm far too uncomfortable to share in the atmosphere of your classroom. An atmosphere where ideas that don't mirror what is written in your lesson plan are rejected. I want to bathe in the thoughts rejected by teachers like you, who believe that poetry isn't an art, but a structure. I'm sorry I don't look Latina enough for you, and the curls of my hair shine against the sun in a golden way, not tinged in black. I'm so very sorry my skin isn't naturally kissed by the sun, and I don't willingly speak Spanglish. And I may not resemble your textbook Latina, but the Latin blood courses through my veins so violently your own blood is envious. I am 16 years old and you're 30, but I'm 16, my 16 years have provided me with the acceptance of others who think freely and have thoughts contrasting my own. What has your 30 years given you?